Hey guys, so I finally got all my damn hardware I've been waiting for. Put these inner fenders and the front core support on. It's only taken me a week to get it, so everything seems to take time. And the little things I keep forgetting to order, like the hardware, because I was all the clips broke when I took the inner fenders out of these fenders before, and I didn't have any clips. The local, um, the local hardware store and the local uh, auto parts stores didn't have any. Um, so I ordered from LMC, been waiting for them, but I'm ready to start. I'm gonna get the front inner fenders on, the front core support, start getting this assembled, get the radiator in, and I am ready to start it, I hope. Um, I need to get a battery. Um, I've, I've got it over here. And I need a I need a spot for the battery to sit. I don't want to start it without coolant. I don't want to start it um, without the oil cooler lines. I've got to run those and put the cooler in the radiator. Um, so guys, watch. Um, I'm just gonna throw this thing together. We'll get her together and uh, and uh, we'll see how far we get tonight. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure to hit subscribe. Alright guys, got this mounted up, um, now I'm going to put the chrome on and then we'll move on to the headlights. Um, chrome basically just sticks on there, but you can kind of see this is really tarnished. Um, I like to use the old chrome, this is stainless, very good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to polish this up, you guys want to check that out, I'll show you how to polish this. But, uh, you polish it with some rubbing compound, or you can come over here and we'll, we'll polish it with a wheel. Alright, so I'm just going to turn this guy on, put some compound, and we're just going to polish this up. You can kind of see the before. You can kind of see the difference in the chrome, how much kind of see the difference here in the chrome, how much better it looks. It shows a lot more dense <laughs> than it did before, but um, there's ways to get the dents out with stainless is a nice thing. Is you can uh, kind of pound it out and sand it and then polish it again, but I'm not that worried. This truck's a driver, it's not a show truck. Now, if I was building a show truck, and people people keep telling me to take my cars to SEMA, but I don't feel like they're at the level of that. So they're all drivers, and. All right, guys. Well, I got a surprise for you. Time to put the headlights in. So, I got these cool headlights, you know, like the ones I got in the K5? Uh, they make them for this truck. Uh, they're four, six square, and they're these damper lighting. These are super cool. The guy's super cool, made these for me. Uh, he custom makes every order, and uh, I'm super excited to get them in the truck. Um, I'll post his website up down below. All right, guys. Well, these are super sweet. Um, they come wired. They got the halos. They've got the turn signals. These are the white halos. And then they got orange turn signals built in. So um, you basically get the headlight. Pull these out. And then you get the harness. Connectors, you get the bulbs, LED, these are high output bulbs, they're super cool, uh, a lot of wattage here, so, um, 
but you got the bulb and it also gives you a harness to plug in so super cool let's get them uh, installed and you got to make sure which one's the high beam which one's not so uppers are the, are the lows so we'll get those guys set in here Hey guys got the grill done um, I just realized I didn't get it all recorded but I cleared the whole thing so uh, this is stainless and then right here I wanted the brush aluminum look and you know how stainless and aluminum does not interact well with each other but I wanted that look and so you can kind of see it's got the brushed aluminum cleared it really good and what I ended up using was this epoxy glue um, for the back so I could create a barrier between the aluminum and the stainless. So. Hey guys, got the grill on, the headlights all working. Um, I guess I lost the footage on building this grill. Um, I don't know where it disappeared to, but uh, turned out really good. I took some stainless and uh, jig weld some stainless together here. And then uh, I took a piece of uh, aluminum here and uh, mounted it to the frame here. And I, I brushed it so it, it's got a, a kind of like a pattern I got a brush pattern this direction. So I, I really like it. I got some scratches in it from it sitting around, but it turned out really good. Um, I love it. And then the Chevy logo really sets it off. Um, but we'll turn the headlights on, show you what those look like. I know you guys were looking forward to those and uh, pretty pumped about those also. So let's. Uh, So they got the LEDs, the rings, I love the rings and how you get the turn signals. Um, let's turn that back on. But it really sets it off. I mean, this thing's popping. I'm, I'm super stoked. And then you can't forget about the actual headlights. Low beams and high beams. So guys, this is this is totally starting to come together. Um, I've got a few things to button up under the engine compartment, um, and uh, I still got to get the radiator in. I am waiting on some pads, and then I can fab the top section to hold the radiator in because. Um, it's more like a four core radiator, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, guys, I'm super excited. This turned out awesome. The headlights look great. The grill looks great. I mean, I was like, oh, I need to black some of this out, but uh, no, I'm, I'm good. And I did get the bolt, so I need to put that bolt in and that's done. So uh, you guys hit subscribe, check out more of my videos. I'm going to go move on to the next part of this and uh, we're slowly 
getting there. We are slowly getting there, but this this pops, man. It pops. And also right here, I put the the turn signals in the grill. The 85 has. Uh, these are the LMC aftermarket ones, and then I tinted them. Just just because I, I didn't want to just see chrome turn signal in the grill. So that way when I turn the lights out, you can't see them. They're, they're there, but you just can't see them. And that's, that was my goal. So, um, but yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, thank you.